hello i am back again with another cosplay review and if you watch all of my videos you were probably like she looks exactly the same as it did last time yeah <laughs> i got these in on the same day and didn't feel like changing clothes <laughs> oh well it's fine don't worry about it um so this one is valoria from fire emblem fates uh i love the Fire Emblem franchise. Well, the ones that I've played, which is Awakening, Fates, uh, Three Houses, Three Hopes. Technically, I played Warriors and Engage. Anyway, um, I've been wanting to cosplay Valoria since I played the game, and there's, like, the timing never worked out. Um, Keaton, her father in the game, is, like, oh my god, one of my all-time favorite characters. I love him to bits, uh, and I love Valoria to bits, so this all just worked out really well. Um, so I actually got from a shop that I have never bought from before, uh, FM Anime. So I was kind of nervous. I had heard good things at first. Um, I'll get into that in a second, but I had heard good things. So I was like, okay. And they had a, uh, custom sizable, uh, Valoria. And I was like, yes, let's go for it. So I ordered this at the kind of the beginning of November. Um, I ordered the cosplay and the wig together, uh, cause they also had Valoria's wig, which was pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, the kind of, there's a lot of stuff that goes on around there. It was at the beginning of November, but you know, Christmas and New Year. So I was, I was like, okay, it, it might take it a little bit, but, uh, by kind of like beginning of March into February time, I hadn't heard anything. Oh, I, I sent a message and was like, hey, you know, I, I haven't I haven't heard anything. And I ordered this at the beginning of November. I know there's like a lot of stuff, but can I like get an update? And they totally ghost me. Uh, so, you know, I'm starting to get a little nervous, a little palpitations, that kind of thing. Uh, so I look it up, you know, and I'm looking at other reviews doing a deeper dive and I realize, uh oh, <laughs> there's a lot of reviews that say that they just never received the product or there's some that say they received the product, but it was like a year late and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have this plan for something in May. I thought ordering at the beginning of November would guarantee me to get it for May. Maybe I'm wrong. So... I, I don't like to do this, but I sent a strongly worded email that was basically like, hey, tell me some kind of update or I will open a PayPal dispute. And then they knew how to answer me immediately. So they answered me and were like, we are finishing up. The cosplays are done, just waiting on the wig. And I was like, okay. And then sure enough, it shipped not too long later, arrived very quickly once it shipped, everything was good there. But I had to go through a lot of stress to get there. So um, I'd say on that front, just kind of, if you decide to order from them, just be aware that it could take a really long time and don't be afraid to reach out and maybe even get a little mean if you have to, uh, just to try to get kind of things moving forward. So. All of that aside, let's actually look at the quality of the cosplay. <laughs> Alright, so first off, it came in this really nice labeled bag here. You can see it right there. Also with a little business card with a QR code on the back. Um, so I thought that was really neat. I like the branding. I like when things show like, hey, I'm, I'm not just some Taobao resell. I'm an actual business. Here's my whatever it might be. Uh, anyway, so, uh, Valoria, if you don't know, is kind of, she's, so she is a wolf, but her whole thing is Little Red Riding Hood, which I think is just, like, an adorable juxtaposition. I love it a lot. So here is her hood, her Little Red Hood. There's this. I will say it, it's, it's nice. I, I will give it that. So far, like, this hood is nice. There's this Actually, that's not even a loose thread because it's already gone. Uh, the lace done through here is really pretty. It doesn't look cheap. It's attached on very nicely, all sewn on. Uh, here's this part. This looks really nice. Again, it's sewn on, so it's not going anywhere. These are made of fabric, but they're nice and thick. They put like something plush in there to give it like a harder feel so it looks more natural all this lined on the inside 
I like the cloak. <laughs> Next are the pants. These are okay. I, I might end up replacing these just because she wears like essentially skinny jeans. Um, and I think these are gonna bunch a little kind of down here because obviously they're thicker. Um, not, these are typical cosplay pants. So, you know, not like a huge problem or anything. Just something I kind of knew going in I would probably replace uh, just to make them look just, just a little bit nicer. But I think these are fine as is. Uh, they're just, for me, I don't like that look of um, when boots bunch around pants. I know that's really weird. I just, I don't like how it looks. Here is her frilly white top. Uh, like I say with all white tops, if you really, really hate the ones that come with the cosplay, generally speaking, you can get them really cheap at like a Goodwill or something. Um, she does have like ruffles and things here, so it would be a little bit harder, but I don't think it'd be impossible if you just like really hated the one that came with the cosplay. But honestly, this seems like a pretty typical cosplay quality. You can see here to make it all poofy, she's got this. I think it just looks nice. And then she has this corset. Uh, obviously, like with all cosplay shops, it is not a real corset. It's just a zipper. Uh, no boning, anything like that. But it looks like it's supposed to, and that's what's good. <laughs> uh, but it won't give you like that cinching effect. Uh, if you want to, you can, and I, I might do this depending on how it fits, you can see where the seam lines are here. Sometimes I'll just, you know, do a little fold there. And then that way it's kind of, you know, forcing itself to be smaller. Just don't make it too small to where you can't zip it anymore or too small to where the zipper is like begging for the sweet relief of death because it probably will die. And then for her accessories, so she has a little black necktie. They just sent basically a black ribbon. That's fine. That's pretty much what it looks like. So can't complain too much there. Uh, here are her gloves. I, I will have to say the quality is nice. I can't lie. The quality is actually pretty nice. <laughs> uh, and here is this. They include inside the bag this fluff. So if you're not planning on putting anything in here, you can use the fluff to keep this like puffed up shape. Uh, I might put my cell phone in here, so I might take that out to put my cell phone in, but for right now, it works out great. There it is. Lots of different things. Meh. Yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with how it generally looks. Uh, it's kind of hard to review the wig without having it on. So when I have it on, I will add that in as well. But yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, I was gonna say something cheesy, like let the she-wolf out of her closet or something, but doesn't that just sound kind of dirty? You know what, <laughs> let's go try it on. Oh, there's Valoria. Yay. When I actually wear it to the con, I'm going to have a little tea for a I just didn't feel like putting them in right now. Uh, so I guess I will just go from the top to the bottom again. Uh, so like I said before, the wig is also from them. Uh, it's a pretty nice wig. It's a little bit big on me, which is strange. I don't usually have that problem, but um, it kind of like slip and slides a little bit. Uh, but it's, it's pretty thick. I think my main issue is... Um, I feel like her dark gray could be a little more like boom. Like you can't really see it. And I feel like they could have added just a little bit more dark wefts to kind of showcase that it is there. I obviously haven't styled it yet. And maybe once I cut the bangs, it'll be a little bit more obvious. Sorry if you hear scratching, that's my dog. But she can't come in while I'm recording because she'll make a mess of things. So she must suffer. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, I have the hood just kind of like squazzy attached here. I think when I went to the con, I'm gonna move the ears up a little bit closer so that I can move the hood up more. And that might help keep it a little bit more stable and a little more able to be seen. Um, but overall, that's still fine. Uh, this slides up a little bit, but it's not like a huge problem. Um, and I think it'll be fixed when I move the ears and the hood uh, to a different position. Uh, this is fine. Looks exactly like it's supposed to. This looks good. I like the shirt. Uh, you can see it does have a little bit of exposed skin here, but I don't think it's really a problem. 
Um, the gloves are actually quite nice. They uh, fit really well and just feel pretty nice. They're just regular cosplay gloves. If you want to get technical, I think she's meant to have like leathery type gloves, but I'm going to be in the Georgia heat and it gets new fedora. It gets hot. <laughs> so um, I think I'm content with these. And then here's a little corset. It likes to slide around because it's not like secured in there. Um, but there it is. It fits fine. Uh, I'd say your biggest trouble would be because it's a zipper versus like any kind of like actual corset with like lace and stuff. It's pretty much one size, you know, like you're not going to get like anything like, oh, I'm, you know, I want to have it a little tighter, a little looser. It's, it's, it's what it's going to be. So there's no wiggle room on that front. Um, I did get this a custom size, by the way. Uh, now my biggest grief pants hated them, hated them, hated them. I hated how they felt. I hated how they like sat on me. So I am actually not wearing those. I'm just wearing my uh, black leggings. I'll get like black skinny jeans at a later point, but I already had these, so it worked out well. But I was like, no, don't like these at all. So that was, that was an easy, just like, no. Um, but yeah, I, I overall like it. I, I feel cute in it and that's what's most important, I think. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> kind of summarized most of what I was gonna say. There's not like a ton to Valoria. She's pretty self-explanatory. Looking back, I probably could have made this myself. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know. I wanted to try a new cosplay shop anyway. So it all kind of works out. Um, I actually tried to get from FM Anime one time before, but I was trying to do a commission from them for uh, Mary Ann's dress from Three Hopes, and they didn't respond to my commission request. Maybe that's for the best, um, especially because I, I ended up not even wanting to do that one that much, and it probably would have been expensive and lots of other stuff, but uh, yeah, either way, I think it's cute. So um, as for rating, so... I feel like because there's so little pieces, I should put it kind of lower because I hated the pants so much and there's not a lot to this. So the pants makes up a good percentage of it, but I feel a little bad because I do actually like everything else. I like how everything else is constructed relatively. I like you no know, cosplay shop is going to give me an actual corset, so I, I can't fault it for that, you know? Um, so, ooh. I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10. Yeah, I think a six and a half out of 10 is agreeable. Uh, Cause I do really like like all of this. Um, in, in case you're curious, my ears and my tail are just like basic AliExpress stuff. These are actually Yaniko ears, but gray. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I have a newfound appreciation for Yaimiko cosplayers. These things, are a pain who keeps ears so low <laughs> uh yes. yes 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 Thank you so much for watching this review. Uh, let me know if you have also gotten from FM Anime. I'm curious if this is a normal thing um, and it's something I should just be aware of if I'm gonna order from them again or if like I'm an outlier and normally it doesn't take that long or whatever the situation might be. Also let me know if it was a custom commission or if it was something they already had. This was something they already had and like advertised. So I'm also interested in, in that aspect of it. Uh, but anyway, I suppose that is everything. So have a wonderful rest of whatever month I put this out in. And uh, if you're going to Momocon, Colossal Con, oh, I actually am also going to be adding one singular day of Dragon Con. So <laughs> that's kind of exciting. Uh, I've done Dragon Con one time before. 
I didn't like it very much. So this is my redemption tour of Dragon Con. I have not decided what I'm wearing yet, but I will put a review out when I do. So anyway, bye!